Hi guys, so today we're doing 12.11, okay, this is Mrs. May, and it's patterns and measurement units, okay, this won't be too hard because these are the same kind of T-charts we've been doing all along in the chapters, okay, we're just trying to figure out what the mystery T-chart is, okay, they'll have stuff listed for us and we need to figure out what they did or what they were trying to figure out, okay. The table at the right relates yards and feet. You see that right here, yards and feet. You can think of the numbers in the table as number pairs, one and three, they like go together because one yard is three feet. Two and six, because two yards would be six feet. Three and nine, four and 12, and five and 15, they're pairs. The number pairs show the relationship between yards and feet. One yard is equal to three feet, two yards, gets what we just did. Okay, going from here to here, they did times three, times three, times three, times three, times three. Okay, because that's how many feet are in a yard. Okay, Lillian made the table below to relate two units of time. Okay, it's something with time. Okay, what unit of time did the pattern in the table show? Use the relationship between number pairs to label the columns of the table. So there's seven of something in a something. Hmm. Not minutes and hours, it's not seconds to minutes. What could it be? It's not days in a year. There are seven what's in a what. There are seven days in a week, right? Seven days in one week, two weeks would be 14 days, three weeks would be 21, four would be 28, five would be 35, right? They're doing times seven, times seven, times seven. Right? Okay, we're gonna skip this down here, just not totally necessary. Jasper made the table below to write two customary units. So we're only doing customary like we use in the United States. Units of liquid volume. What customary units of liquid volume does the pattern in the table show? Okay, customary, like in the United States, liquid volume. So that's like gallon man, okay? What is there? There's four of something in a something on Gallon Man. There are four blanks to a blank. What could that be? There are four quarts in a gallon, right? If you were drawing a Gallon Man, like here's his belly in the middle. That's the big gallon, right? And then he's got a quart, a quart, a quart and a quart, doesn't he? All these are quarts, okay? There are four quarts in a gallon, okay? What other units could you have used to label the columns of the table above? What else could we use? There's four of something in a something. Hmm. Let me get my gallon man down here. There's four of something in a something. Oh, I see four yellows right here. That would be four cups in a, because that's be four in one of something. There are four cups in one quart, aren't there? So we could have used that. Okay, I could have used four cups in one Court, right? Uh, explain it, okay, explain. Okay, there are two cups in each pint. Let's get gallon man over here again. So in each pint, okay, because it doesn't go just from cups to court, is why it says explain. In each pint, there are two cups. Two cups fit in each pint and two pints fit in a quart. Right? Does that make sense? Okay, these really aren't too tricky. You just have to think, you have to have memorized those units that I gave to you. The table shows a pattern for two units of time. 
Label the column with the table with the correct unit of time. 24 something in a something. 24. Hmm, it's not days in a month. 24. What is there 24 of in something? There are 24 hours in a day, right? 12 in the morning and 12 at night. Mix 24 together. Okay, that's all we have to do. Okay, the next one says, each table shows a pattern for two customary units, meaning not metric. Label the columns of the table. So it doesn't tell us now whether it's time or liquid volume. Okay, we have to think. There's two of something in a something. Hmm, two. There's not many things that are small enough for two. Let's look at Gallon Man again. Where'd he go? He ran away. There he is. Okay, two of something in something. Okay, I can see here. Let me just look over here where I've already marked on them, I guess. There are two cups, one, two, in a pint, right? Each pint, one pint has two cups. You can see these two yellow cups would just kind of go over here. Okay, so there's two cups in one pint. Okay, 16, ooh, 16. This one isn't on Gallon Man. There's nothing that, oh, there is. Actually, there is something that is 16 on Gallon Man. All of these aren't exactly one exact answer. There could be more than one, but it has to obviously be exact. What is there 16 of on Gallon Man? Look at the different colors. Just look at just the blue, quartz. There's four, pints, two, four, six, eight. Yellow cups, four, eight, 12, 16. Oh, so there's 16 yellow cups in the gallon, right? 16 cups in a gallon. It could also be 16 ounces in a pound, right? Okay, 60, ooh, this one could be different things too. 60 what's in a what? I could say there's 60 seconds in a minute, or I could say there's 60 minutes in a hour, right? Hmm, I didn't read the directions. The table shows a pattern for two units of time. It gave me a hint and I didn't even read it. Okay, there are 12 somethings and a something. 12 units of time, there are 12 what? No. 12 months in a, or in one year. That means in two years is 20 months, four months, three years is 36 months, four years is 48 months, five years is 60 months. So you could, if your mom said, I have a four-year-old son at home, she could say instead of four years, she could say I have a 48th month old son. That would be silly sounding, but she could, right? Okay. Each table shows a pattern for two metric, oh, that's new, units of length, okay? So that's something you would find on that meter stick, on the meter stick, okay? So we know this one's gonna be meter. There are 10 what's on a meter, 10. What's that word root that means 10? Deck, right? 10 decimeters on a meter. So if you have four meters, you have 40 decimeters, okay? 100, what's the word that means 100? Like in a dollar is 100 cents, like centimeter. 100 centimeters are in a meter, okay? List the number of pairs for the table in exercise six. Describe the relationship between the numbers in each pair. Okay, when it asks that, it just wants the pairs that go together. Okay, one and 10, they're a pair, like a couple. Two and 20, three and 30, this won't take us that much time. Four and 40, five and 50, 
6 and 60. Whoops, that one went on my table. I went too far, didn't I? Okay, describe the relationship between the numbers in each pair. The number of meters, right, the smaller number is, well, this one you would say, I guess you'd say the number of decimeters is 10 times the number of meters, right? Or is one-tenth, the decimeter is one-tenth of a meter. You could say either way. Okay, the number, the numbers are 10 times or one tenth of the other number. All right, it depends which way you're going, whether you're going this way or whether you're going this way. Okay. What's the error? Maria wrote weeks as the label for the first column and years for the label on the second column. Describe her error. She wrote weeks for the first column. One week, this is what Maria wrote, in 52 years. Is that correct? She wrote weeks in the first column. Hmm, one week is 52 years? Wow. I must be really old. Okay, what it was her error. She should have put one year as 52 weeks, right? She should switch the labels, right? Because there are 52 weeks in one year, right? Okay, the next one says, sense or nonsense. The table shows a pattern for two metric units. Metric, I can tell because look at all the zeros, right? They're all powers of 10. Lou labels the columns meters and millimeters, okay? Zaina labels them liters and milliliters. Whose answer makes sense? Whose, make, whose is nonsense, okay? So one person says meters and millimeters, I'm gonna abbreviate. The other person says liters, remember this one's different, and milliliters. Okay, what did we say milli meant? Just that milli part of the word. I see it twice right here. Milli and milli. Milli does not mean a million. Milli means 1,000, right? So there's 1,000 millimeters in a meter. The little ding, 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 ding. Marks on the meter stick, right? And there's 1,000 milliliters, the little droppers, in a liter, like a liter of water, right, from the gas station. So whose answer makes sense? Does it make sense there's... 100 millimeters in a meter? Yes. Does it make sense there's a, did I say 100? I think I said 100, whoops. Does it make sense that there is 1,000 millimeters in a meter? Yes. Does it make sense that there's 1,000 milliliters in a liter? Yes. So who makes sense? Both of the girls make sense, right? Both make sense. Wow, that doesn't happen very often, does it? Okay, let's call this milli right here. That's a prefix. The prefix, where it's like a word root, right? Slash root of milli means 1,000, right? So both labels are right. Remember, you can pause this and write down the answer. Catch up with me. <clears throat> Look back at problem 10. What other labels for the metric units could you write on the columns up here? Okay. Remember we have that um, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Okay. Remember this is your milli. This is your centi. Deci. 
This is your base units. Okay, what were those three base units? We used two of them right here. We used meters. We used liters. What was the other one? That was the third one that was down here. Grams. Okay, so it could have been grams. And what would the milli be? It's a prefix. And milligrams. Milligrams. Okay. Medicine is measured in milligrams. Look at the following number pairs. 1 and 365, 2 and 730, 3 and 1095. The number of pairs describes the relationship between which two units of time. Jot yourself down a little table right here. It'll make it a lot easier. 1 and 365, 2 and 730, 3 and 1,095. What would this be? There are 365 days in one year, right? Right? Explain. Okay. The other rows... Like these rows here are 365 times the first column equals the second column, right? That's how they got those numbers. They didn't just make them up. 2 times 365 is 730. 3 times 365 is 1,095, right? The table shows a pattern for two customary units of length, which are the best labels, okay? Are years and months length? Would you measure your house in years and months? No. Yards and inches, those are length. Feet and inches, those are length. Yards and feet, those are length. Okay, now we have to look at the chart. There are 12 what's in a what? There are 12 inches in a foot. Would that work? 12 inches in one foot. Yeah, maybe. There's 12 inches in a yard. No. Okay, a yardstick is 36 inches. There are 12 feet in a yard. No, there are three feet in a yard. So it must be this guy here. Okay, good job, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.